Good evening. You are with 3 TV Primetime News. I am Thinet Jayathilaka. First, let's look at the headlines. Minister Rajita says Mahindra Rajapaksha is against executive presidency. Common candidate Ranil and Fonseca. Election Commission prepares for presidential poll on January 8. Election Secretariat's office is currently preparing for an emergency presidential election that is going to be called very soon, reports say. In a discussion held between the election commissioner and his deputies, it has been revealed that the polls are to be held on 8 January. It has also been decided to prepare the time and services charts of the all officials at the commissioner's office targeting this event of well. However, the ruling regime has previously decided to hold the presidential election on Saturday, the 10th January. But since they were not able to get the papal visit postponed, the intended date was shifted to 3rd January. The Vatican on Friday released the itinerary for the Pope's trip to Sri Lanka, where he will canonize Sri Lanka's first saint. The Rev. Joseph was a 17th century missionary with reviewing the Catholic faith in the country. The Pope is scheduled to visit the island from January 12th to 15, 2015. The Sri Lankan government will not directly file an appeal at the EU Court of Justice against a recent order on sanctions imposed on the LTT in the European Union. External Affairs Minister Professor Jill Pires said that appearing in a foreign court will result in Sri Lanka submitting itself to that court. He said that initiated the government will look at alternative methods to challenge the court decision instead of placing national interest at stake. The External Affairs Minister Mr. Jal Piris has made this above statement while speaking at the Parliament. The United National Party member of the Parliament, Lakshman Kiriala, raised a question with an appeal against the lifting of the ban on LTT by the European Union court will be made answering to the above question the external affairs minister Jal Pires has made this uh, above statement the minister of fisheries Rajit Sena Ratna who found himself in the middle of a controversy in parliament early this week that president Mahinda Rajapaksha was also against the executive presidency and will move to abolish it after the next presidential election Senaratna said that he has been always against the executive system and added that the executive presidency and the current parliamentary system had taken the, the country down to the present state. President Rajapaksa's hands were ties because of the war for a few years and he could not move against the executive presidency, Senaratna said. Senaratna also added that the government will change the institution institution of executive presidency and the electoral system in the right time. The Minister of Economic Development, Basil Rajapaksa, says last stage of landmine clearance underway in the northern province. 126,000 million rupees allocated for the landmines clearance and landmines clearance and we believe to we believe to evacuate 13 million landmines. At present, military proposal have cleared up 95% of land in the northern province and only need to clear up 5% on land. At present, government conduct housing, water and other infrastructure facilities in the landmines evacuated Side. Former Army Chief and common candidate of 2010 presidential election, Sarath Fonseca has stated that Ranil Vikramasinghe should be fielded as the common candidate in the upcoming election. Fonseca, who was in Singapore for a medical test, has written to Sri Lanka this dawn and has informed the UNP leader of his stance. Sirikatha UNP headquarters sources report that the majority of parties and organizations representing Samagi Balavega have also approved these suggestions. Meanwhile, a survey conducted under the guidance of UNP President Kabir Hasim has revealed that Rani Vikram Singh is the most appropriate individual for the common candidate position. World leaders are meeting in Brisbane, Australia for the first day of the G20 summit. 
The two-day summit, attended by the U.S., Chinese and Russian leaders, among others, will focus on promoting growth. In a speech, U.S. President Barack Obama sought to reassure Asia-Pacific allies of the U.S. commitment to the region. Vladimir Putin is expected to face a hostile reception from some Western leaders concerned about Russia's increasing military assistance to Speaking ahead from the G20 summit, the Russian president said U.S. and EU sanctions imposed over Russia's action in Ukraine would harm not just Russia but the global economy. The Philae lander on the distant comet 67P re-established radio contact with Earth on Friday night, downlinking yet another stream of science data. Everything expected from the little prop was delivered just before low battery power dropped it into this standby mode. The robot is shadowed by the cliff and cannot get enough light onto its solar panels to recharge its systems. Engineers fear this content may have been its last certainly for a while. Fire descended to the surface of 67P on Wednesday, the first time in history that a space mission has made a soft landing on a comet. Australia fast bowler Mitchell Johnson was today announced as the winner of the Sir Garfield Sobers Trophy for ICC Cricketer of the Year. The 33-year-old was also named as the ICC Cricketer of the Year. During a voting period between 26 August 2013 and 17 September 2014, Johnson claimed 59 test wickets at the average of 15.23 with best bowling figures to of 7 for 40 runs against England and in Adelaide last December. In ODS, Jason claimed 21 wickets in 16 games. Since the inception of the awards in 2004, Jason is only the second player after compariot Ricky Ponting to win the Sir Garfield Sobers trophy twice. While Johnson previously won this award in 2009, Ponting won back-to-back -back awards in 2006 and 2007. Other winners including Rahul David, Jakov Scali and Andrew Flintoff, Shivanarin Chandra Paul, Sachin Tendulkar, Jonathan Trott, Kumar Sangakkara and Michael Clark. Thank you very much for joining me with 3TV Primetime News. I'm Thinet Jaitlaka signing off.